I saw you guys on somebody's page, mm -hmm. and I um I didn't really pay attention to the conversation. Like I heard the question about like sucking dick or some shit like that, or whatever. That was Trish. That was Trish, of yes. course. Uh -huh. But I mean, both of y'all giving like you know um fun. Okay. Fun. That's a better word. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I seen the podcast, and that's what interests me. I'm mm -hmm. like, yo, they're working. I think it's dope as hell. True. Um, I think it might be clear, but I don't know why. Did you name your podcast Beyond the Chair? Okay, so when we looked into the industry, we really wanted to see what was missing. Mm -hmm. And everybody was marketing to, you know, the masses and stuff like that. But nobody was really honing in on service providers specifically. Okay. So when it comes to service providers, they're so tapped into the physical world and actually doing a service that they forget that it is a digital space out there that they can really tap into and really make millions by tapping into the digital space rather than making fast money by tapping into the physical space. Do you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? I do. And I ahead. come from a a mother, a mother who worked and owned hair salons. And I was a hair salon baby. Mm. So it's like, and I used to do hair. Dad used to do hair. So it made sense because mm -hmm. we, you know, we fought that. I don't want to call it a demon, but we fought that, that itch to just have that side hustle. So it's like a lot of our people are so bound to, oh, I can do hair. I can do, I can do lashes. I can, you know, clean somebody's house. And they True. never scale. So it's like. In order to scale, yeah. you literally cannot be hands on. Like the people who make lace fronts that Hold took up, off relax. my edges. Slow down. When you say scale, what you mean? Grow. Okay. Scale a business. Grow. When you scale in a business, like the people, the people who make lace fronts that took off my edges. Trishana has her edges I do. because I don't wear them too much. She don't. You see my friend, but under my hat, I don't have no edges. But anyways, the people who make the lace fronts are not hands-on. They literally make those lace fronts in factories. You get mm. what I'm saying? They sell them to the masses. But the people who do here, once you leave from behind the chair, you clock out. So as many hours as you are active, is that's the only time you can make money. Once mm. you stop doing that service, you stop making money. So beyond the chair really goes in to show them how to make money while they... Mm -hmm. Sleep. Sleeping. We just Residual do it in the fun income. way. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we actually teach a lot of financial literacy. We just do it in a fun way. True. This is fire. I love this. This is fucking excellent. This Thank is way you. better than um. Cuss? <laughs> oh my god, we can cuss. Oh, you Fuck. Funny. Shit. Oh damn. <laughs> you know I cuss a lot. What's your favorite cuss word? What's your favorite Fuck. word? <laughs> 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 we can cuss. We so y'all. So did y'all ever work in the hair salon? I I did hair for ninety days and then I ditched the chair. Why? Because I was tired of getting people ready for their life. I was tired of getting bitches ready to go fuck. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go fuck. Mm -hmm. But you can still fuck. How? Right? And I'm doing it here all day and night, then my pussy tired. Yeah. Your pussy get tired? Yeah. How your pussy get tired? From standing up all day. all day. A lot of girls not really fucking, so like. Well, I. that's not why I started. Well, I'm celibate, so I'm not. You celibate? Yeah, I haven't yeah. had sex since January. That sounds boring. No, it's not boring. It's actually fun because I get off in 30 seconds. Oh, so you masturbate a lot? Yes. Congratulations. And seven days a week. Seven days? Yes. So how are you going to enjoy sex when you have it? I don't know. I haven't thought that far. So what type of tool you, are you using? To, Is this finger? I told you to slow down, friend. I said, because if you replace the man, you're not going to want him when he comes. So wait, are you using your just your finger or like is it no. a toy? I have a wand named Wan Wan. <laughs> so you're using your wand every night, seven days, like you being serious? Yes. Damn. Yeah. So I feel sorry for the man that you going to like have sex with next because like what if you eat your pussy and you have no, no feeling? Y'all jack off all day long. Go fuck 17 sure, other dude. different women in a day and you want to feel sorry for us because we decide to use our fingers 10 days a week. Hell no, no, you use your fingers. Don't try to slip or that Or one, whatever. My thing is this. Y'all y'all go fuck any and everything every single day and still got energy to come back and fuck your bitch. So don't feel sorry. She just doing what she want to do. I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been plugging this. I've been plugging this shit for like six months now speaking of january and i need to check from these niggas mm -hmm. but i don't be having all that energy i'll I be having sex with my girl mm -hmm. and like you feel me um i'll be struggling to do like three rounds for real but it's three some shit rounds of what day yeah or fucking no you don't gotta do three rounds a day i think one great round is good but let me put you on game though okay and it's, don't it's, say fuck well, with y'all okay. too okay that honey I got fuck with that honey she, i she, asked was you on drugs and you said that's no. not honey that's organic 100 percent 
I ask what you want drugs, Jay. That's not drugs. Is it drugs? It's, it's not. Get your- I gotta try it. I'm it's hundred percent organic. But your about girl it. is Jamaican, so I know you're trying to keep up with that. Okay, you were about to. You say didn't something. say you wasn't, so I'm not. Right. I don't try to keep up. You take a honey. I'm nah, just trying I to keep it cute because I be talking crazy and you I need good. stuff that's take not a, crazy to take post. A, take a so shot. Now nah, we to gonna we gonna get some. Wait, one thing about me. That's why I ain't shying away from that. What you call it? Ratchetness. Because we're going to talk some shit. Let's no, not get it fucked tell up. Them, tell, them you, tell, them, tell them you called us ratchet when we walked in. It's fine. I'm and that's why when I started, then I get real professional, friend. Please don't do that. Don't do that. You called us ratchet right when we walked in. And I told you, you obviously you haven't done your research. Because that's, first of all, I meet Des. I didn't even get a chance to shake her hand. I didn't get a chance to give her a little side hug. You know what I'm saying? And she like, can you park my car? The fuck? That's ratchet? That's a woman needing help from a man. Facts. I thought you was a man's man. Oh. First of all, you don't even know me. How you know I'm a man's man? Stop complaining about she's giving you, things. She's saying a man's man. That's a compliment. Is a it? woman is calling you a man. I have never in my 27 years ever heard a man complain about another woman calling him a man. Keep growing. But what I will today. say is, first so of all, I didn't complain. you don't want to be called a man? First of all, I didn't complain. One, I didn't complain. But so nice. you're not about to do that. You're not about to do that. <laughs> you don't want to be called a man. That's not what I said. Whatever. What I said was, mm-hmm. how did you know I was a man's man and you don't really know me like that? Because when you hopped in the whip and you backed it up, scrap, scrap, whoop, whoop, I'm like, yeah. Oh, he a man's man. So, just for say, that, hold on, yeah, hold on, before that. you continue, just say thank you to her for calling you How a do man. you know that's a compliment That's to me. a compliment. How would you know so that? So, what you, what you, what's, why? Is I'm going to tell you why. Okay. To me, it's a compliment. I think okay. it's really dope. good. So but let me tell you, no, 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 no. What's your sign? Damn. I'm a Gemini, but no, it ain't like that. Let me tell you why. I just because broke up with a Gemini. When we talk about these conversations, we're going to get to that. When we talk about, and I, and I forget about you. When we have these conversations, right? Sure. I feel like the world is so skewed when it's like this man versus woman type shit. And I'm getting tired of it. Okay. For for example, when you say like a man's man, yeah. how do you know I want that burden on me? Right? Because I feel like with a woman, nowadays I'm seeing more women say, I don't want to be Superman. I, I think I've seen the videos of this now. Like okay. women saying like they don't want to be called Superman because what comes with it, the stereotype I that comes with it. I don't want to be a strong black woman. And me that's neither. bullshit. But, and that's fine. No, not bullshit. I'm sorry. We could use that. They're going to kill me for I that. don't want to be a strong black woman. Same. Respectfully. I'm tired. Respectfully. So why she can't I be tired? at the bottom So of why can't I be tired as well if you think I'm a man's man? I feel like it's something similar. Right, you like boy. your ass ache? No. What? All right, pussy boy. What the fuck? Y'all going to talk you like, about no, me? No, I'm just asking. Do you like your ass ache? No, I don't. I said no. Oh. And not I the goose, ask- none of that. None of that. None of that. Oh. I can multitask. I said no. And I said, what the fuck? You can't multitask because you still haven't asked me the other two questions from Because we ain't get past this time. yet. Okay. Trishana, with two ends. Mm-hmm. That's wild disrespectful. What, pussy boy? Yeah, what? And then man's man got you raising your eyebrows. So I don't know what it's about. No, I'm just saying let's be fair. Because right. if, if I call you a strong black woman, I'm, I won't be a strong black woman. All right, Dolphin. What? That's how it's I'm like too, anything that's too much. I call you, that's you too, just, just, just say, all right, Jay. All right, Jay Hill. Thank you. Is she still? <laughs> what the fuck ever? All right. <laughs> Jashana, you was about to say about you was working in the salon or not yes. working in the salon. I was six years old doing hair. So my hands been looked like this. Mm-hmm. So the girls who've been doing hair for 30, 40, 50 years, y'all hands really look like this. It's giving arthritis. They be coming to me with carpal tunnel. Mm-hmm. 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 So that's why I was decided to um, help people too. Mm. And I was not even good at doing hair. I would just do hair to say I did because I need to make my, my rent money. That was it. Mm-hmm. Same. What I will say is, first of all, congratulations to both of you ladies. I know we Thank don't have. Thank you. And congratulations to you too because I see your awards and everything. And I really like what you're doing at this what moment. What did I say? Oh, thank Media you. I appreciate impact that. Impact Awards. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Uh-uh. You're making impact. You're thank impact. you. That's a big word. The family. community. Mm. Mm-hmm. But nah, for real, I was going to say, like, um, we're going to have fun. We we'll are. talk about some uh some serious shit too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, I definitely want to commend you guys. Uh, I think one of your episode three. I love a man um, who do his research. One of you guys was about to quit or something like that. <laughs> it was me. Who was about to she quit. stayed quitting. Yeah. Uh, she hasn't quit in two days. Good it's, for me. It gets tough. It does get tough. You can you can keep going. I will I, I will always keep going. One thing about me is I'm a team player. I will never ever ever give up on my team. Mm. So just me saying I'm quitting that's just me wanting attention from my photographer. Okay. Let me ask you guys this since you have um both have experience doing hair. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Nowadays, I'm pretty sure you guys experience it. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, my pants are up. Yo, <laughs> coochie. Yes. Pull out. And let's oh talk about God. yeast and BV for a while. <laughs> have you ever came across a girl who's smelling a little fishy? 
Be honest, Jay, because you're 30. To, yeah, to say no, I feel like that would be a lie. So what'd you tell her? What do you say in that in that moment? What do I do say in the moment? Do you leave her high and dry or do you like tell her? Do you like, tell her okay. like, hey, baby? Because we didn't taste it. I've asked a girl, Who what? Who didn't taste it? <laughs> you didn't taste it? I'm going to say we've tasted cum that was less than healthy Who tasted. Who is too. we? We the people? Yes. Of the United States? I've sucked dirty balls. Like it's Was he a boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah. You suck so do you bus. get a pass for, for sucking? I feel like your boyfriend, you get a pass for that, no? Yeah, but that's why we asking. So if you ever come across it, like, how did you know dirty bars? They like if you so you never we had a man's man, a what? A man's man who had dirty balls and you sucked it. Okay, don't don't be mad at me. <laughs> don't think I'm lying out there, but I can't have sex unless we got in the shower first. Really? Like I don't, I never had car sex. I don't have spontaneous. Yes. You don't oh, have I don't spontaneous. Have spontaneous sex. No, we got to get this in the shower why you, first. Uh, really? Celibate. Since January, only using That's your finger seven days a week. Why he keep January? coming you for you? You better ask me why I've been celibate since January, and I'm going to ask you why that dick need that honey. <laughs> and he know about it, too, friend. You a bee or something? He know about it, too. I'm not a bee. Oh, okay. Why have you... <laughs> you know anyway. what? He really may not be a man's man, because he said his girl got him smoking. So you like to be what? initiated. You're not the initiator. Because, what? Yeah. Because my girl got me smoking. Some say like you like to what you like to follow. You, you not you don't like to lead. No, I'm just I'm very um comfortable in who I am. True, honestly, I like that, Jay. Uh, that's make that what makes me more of a man's man. Any if if you want to be technical, yeah. Because I wish I could tell my nigga what to do and he listen. Damn, that's, that's unfortunate. She want a maid, not a man. But he's a maid. He's a maid. He said he listen. I'm a maid. He's not a I maid. Listen. You said you. What like makes you a maid? I don't know. That's dad's word. What makes you? What makes somebody a maid? What Trishana's looking for? Yeah. Okay. My friend, Trishana Hill, is looking for a man to come. When she's out working all day like today, mm-hmm. when she goes home, she want him to be sitting there on the bed, dick out, ready to rub her feet with some oil, maybe have cooked for her, um, fuck her good. After she gets fucked, she want to lay back down, get rubbed on, talk about her day. She want to go to sleep before him. Him watch her sleep to make sure nobody comes in the house to, <laughs> to get her. Mm. And then, and, and when he can go to sleep is when she wakes up to go back to work. So let me ask you something. <laughs> Are you, you, you want to pay for that? If you she's know, willing to pay. I am. Not him, per se. But when Where the comes, camera at? We're hiring right now. For a man? For a man. Hiring right now to do everything that they said the following and she's hiring we will negotiate the price yeah she'll mm. pay for that full dick. time required so you gonna pay for that dick you know save them all right so let save me who? save them and throw them back save if i'm requiring that much out of you i will take you from your job and when i'm done with you, i'll take you back to your job so wait we already said you can't you can't deal with a guy that got a job do you have a job jay yes okay well i cannot deal with you the reason why i cannot deal with <laughs> No, she no, said it as a, like it was like an option. Like, no, it's not an option, and that's what I was going to say. Rule respect to your girlfriend. That's not that's not what she's I. She's not going to take it personal. Yeah, she don't. Know I can't take nobody that got a job either. That's why I said I would. Why I don't not, want though? nobody with a job because Cause if, if we want to go to Jamaica yeah. to see your girl's family, and you it's, can't because you got to go to your. When it comes, but you can't tell them like, oh, I gotta go to Jamaica tomorrow. True. Like you got to. No, but when it so comes you could just to, leave your job. I mean. Anytime, like right, like you told us, we had to push the time back because you didn't get off work till a certain time. Like that yeah. already is like a hassle. Okay. No, but that's a red flag. For me, no, not it's flag. not a red flag. But for me personally, because I know when a lot of people say, "Oh, I can't date a man with a job," a lot of people on the internet take it to offense. But me, mm-hmm. Destiny, cannot mm-hmm. date a man with a job. One because I'm very spontaneous, and I need wait, 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 Jay, before you get to leaning back and breaking the chair. What I'm saying is, and I also need a man to understand where I'm at in the moment that I'm at. Like, I probably will have a week where I work so much, and then I have a week where I don't work at all. You get what I'm saying? So as an entrepreneur, it's like it's very up and down, mm-hmm. and I just want somebody to understand the mental state that I'm in. Sometimes I get really, really depressed because I always have to show up for people. Mm-hmm. So then I'd be like, I-, I want a man to be there to comfort me during that moment. I just feel like a so man. So you want a maid, too? I don't want a maid. I want a man. We not the same. Bro. It sounds like you want him to be there too. No, I don't. It's different, fam. With all due respect, because you didn't call me like so many names, I can say this. With all due respect. Oh, he, oh, he about to get it off his chest. Get it off your chest, Jay. Spit it out. Say it with your chest. Back to the wall. That is just. It's just. It's just say what you got. You got it fucked up. I'm I got it why. fucked up. Okay. Yeah. Because just because a, a guy has a job doesn't mean that he can't understand the things that you're going through. Okay. Just because a guy has a job doesn't mean he's not an entrepreneur. Mm. Um. 
And since we're talking, since we're here, yeah. right? This is my first time ever having a, a corporate job. But mm-hmm. you, if you don't get really, past what made the, you to, what made you go to the job? Um, to support my lifestyle because uh, my passion isn't um paying for the type of life I want. And I'm, I'm the type happy of, that you have a passion. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm the type of person that's going to get it no matter what. Mm-hmm. But so what's before your that, right? Yes. I mean, pa- yeah, podcast. Mm-hmm. So I just you, I have three so jobs. So you work to pay for this? Yeah. So instead Absolutely. of doing this full time and reaching out for like sponsorships and all that, you go to work. You think to I don't do this full time? No, I'm just asking. I do this full time. So then what time do you go to work? Uh I go to work around like eight in the morning. What time do you get off? Depends. Four or five, but I'm Okay, I'm then what time do you start podcasting? Probably uh-huh. eight in the morning. And then what time do you start? Wait, you start podcasting at eight in the morning, or eight at night. I have to edit. I have oh, to, true, 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 I have true. to reach out to but sponsors. So what time do you come here and then what time do you stop? I come here whenever I need to. Okay, so what time? Whenever I need to. What time? Today is that? could be six. Tomorrow could be four. Okay. What time do you end? I don't honestly. So what time are you leaving here tonight? So you mean to tell me you put forty hours into this, the same forty hours that you put into your job? I don't put forty hours into this. What do you do? I probably put like a hundred, honestly. Mm, okay. What that? Why no you at work? Yeah, I like when I'm working. Since it's an interrogation, but what, since I'm working, it's I'm not. editing. No, it's fine. I'm editing. I'm uh. On phone calls, I'm emailing people to get guests. Uh, I think I probably reach out to y'all and talk to y'all while I was working, mm-hmm. but I'm still working this job. But I say to the say, back to you. I don't, I don't fault because you can have your own opinion, you can True. have your own preference. But True. what I would say is, I feel like when when you say that you can't date a guy with a job, you don't really get to know his his background, right? Like, like this is my first time having a job, right? I could be a hundred percent entrepreneur, right, or somebody else, and you miss that. But go ahead. I like and this that. is what I would I like say. That. Thank you. You know, respecting the man's man. Respect the mic. Respect the man. True. Respect the mic and respect the man. What I can say is everybody is not equal and everybody is not made the same. So everything is not for everybody. And I respect you having a job to fund your passion. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I scam to fund mine. And Show then me I when we done. <laughs> no, no, no. I told <laughs> no, God I would never. Though. I told God I would never scam again if he just showed oh, so me just something lied. else. Oh, okay, okay. Go I, ne- I didn't lie to God. I don't lie to God. No, you just lied to me. I said I scammed. Oh, she with an ED. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I, apologize. I said I, I scammed apologize. to fund my passion. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Mm. So I respect you for doing something to fund your passion because that could be temporary. You know, having a job for you could be temporary. That that might not be what you see for the rest of your life. Mm-mm. But just to take that time to sacrifice to do that to fund a passion like this, in a few years this shit might blow up, which I think it will blow up. Mm. But for the person who I am in the space that I am in now, that ain't for you. It ain't for me. That's perfectly and fine. I will say too, all you gotta do, look at me. All you got to do is write you a good business plan and get you a little loan to get you the funding to do this. Cause mm-hmm. I would have had to find a way out. So yeah. I think personally, since we're here, um, this is part of the real shit. Uh, I think you know, I think different strokes for different folks. True. Right. You can get a loan. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you can get. Yeah, don't tell me you want the people who don't like debt. Uh, no, nah, that's what make my credit good, honestly. Okay. But um, okay. so why not the loan, friend? Uh. I'm gonna do all of it. That's why I say it's different strokes for different folks. Mm-hmm. I didn't like, like I got two two corporate jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like making a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, I mean, all of this shit in here is expensive as fuck. True. All this is mine. Especially literally. these mics. Yeah, all of it is mine. Mm-hmm. And I got like three more. Like, True. literally. So like, I, I get it. So it's just it's different. I'm not. I, if you don't want a nigga with a job. Who gives a fuck? Like, you don't have to have Me, a nigga with a woman job. Woman who don't want a nigga with a job, nigga with a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the it is what it is. people out there it, who just it, always trying to make this a big thing. It it's don't just have different to, strokes for different, different folks. Facts. And I think, um, but I do think for your reasons, I'm, I'm just speaking for your reasons, I feel like you can have somebody who can understand what you're going through because they can be going through something similar. True. If not more. But I haven't. You haven't I met haven't, that person. That's fine. No, I met a person. Oh, you met him? No, I met a person. You have met that person. Right. No, I met that person. So he had a job? No, he don't have a so job. So you haven't met that person? Okay. Who has a job and can understand. True. So I haven't met that person, but I have met that person. Okay, that's good. Congratulations for him. Can we make, take a shot for that or not? Yeah. Let's take a drink for that. Let's drink, take a drink for that person. Okay. For that guy. Because I want to ask you a question to, towards um, head doing hair. You got to okay. pour your own poison. Sorry. Oh, not from the man's man. Yeah, nah. Do I got to call in the manly or man? I mean, that's fine. You got to pour your own poison, though. That's where I'm from. We, um, you Where pour you? your own. Yeah, yeah. You got to pour your own poison. Oh. Yeah, you, you seen that, that, that Drewski video? So, do you video? run your girl's blunts? So, Jay. No, nah, I don't even know. I just started smoking. As a guest, you're not going to pour my shot. So, it's a, it's a, okay. so, where I'm from, right, you pour your own poison. What that means is, like, you get yourself drunk. So, whatever you 
Whatever, whatever you do from your intoxication. But Jay, as a man's man, can you please pour my shot? I feel you though. You're not liable. You like whatever the fuck. Can you, you please pour you my shot? Get All drunk right, off of. Thank you so much. That's, on that's, you. that's just, bro. That's just. I'm a woman. I'm a pillow princess. A pillow princess. Okay. Yes. Mm, I do need some more Bel Air. And you know what? You a goddamn motherfucking lie because you poured this Bel Air the minute we walked in here. I did pour the Bel Air. About you got to pour your no, 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 I don't want that one. I want Bel Air. I'm trying not to drink, 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 drink. Just Put a little this in your Bel Air. This is good. Is it? Mm-hmm. All right, so can I ask Thank this question? You. I wanted to ask this question. Um, Before or after the shot? No, nah, we can do it after. Come on, let's go. Uh, I like y'all. I, I like, like you too. I like y'all. Um, but I Future gonna... said, I never liked you. <laughs> That's what Future said. No cheers or nothing. God cheers damn, where the fuck Jay is he Hill, um, Succeeding. At his job. And, I be- and at his podcast. This I'm is this is not a job. Note. Y'all don't call this a job. Y'all don't call I your said podcast your job a job. And your podcast. Do y'all call your podcast? No, I'm, I'm looking. I'm saying, do y'all y'all not call your podcast a job? I just tried to shine light on your job, and I got crucified. So by me, not Jesus. How many times do y'all record a week? <sighs> this shit getting too much for me. How many times you can record a week? Because last twice. time I talked to y'all, you said uh, twice. The next time we record is the ninth. We're skipping a week because we yeah we skipped a week because we just put content, in mm-hmm. some extra yeah. But we also own the agency, so that Fire. never stops. Yeah, Fire. that that literally that's not a job. No, we own it. We have employees working. That's not a job? No. Okay. I mean, I own ice cream shops, too. That's fire. This is hard. I'm loving it. Congratulations again. Thank so, you. I want to ask y'all this. Coming from um, the hair salon, coming from the cheer, mm-hmm. right? We hear a lot of girls complaining about... Um, uh, I had to burp. It's fine. Hair, like, <laughs> what do you call people that do hair? A hairstylist. Style, style Cosmetologist? Stylist. Oh, okay. That's the person that do your makeup, no? No, a no. cosmetologist. No, it's just a hairstylist. Oh, uh, yeah, I have not. Well, right, we hear a lot of women talk Thank about hairstylists um, with all these rules nowadays. Like, you got to come with your hair washed. And that's how uh, I lost my edges. Now, that's get on ratchet. You talk about get on ratchet. That's get on wa- and ratchet. Come with your hair washed. We also, and if I got to comb your hair, it's extra $10 charge. And if you got to curl my hair, it's extra $50. Yeah, yeah. These bitches better off selling pussy. Facts. Before playing with me. Asking your so y'all don't, stripping. So y'all don't agree with that either? No. Why, where, do you, where do y'all think this came from? Because y'all, y'all come they from don't the even It came them. from... They don't even have shampoo bowls. It ca- this is where it came from. So, you know, as life goes on, the price of living kind of increased. Yeah. Especially inflation the time that... Sure. We, yeah, inflation, for sure. So, as a hairstylist, is not, as a service provider, they ran out of ways to extract money from their business. Mm. That's when they started doing all those add-ons. Because when I was younger and I used to get my hair done in the shop, a wash was included, a curl was included. Now y'all Shampoo, bitches gotta dry, pay everything. the wash, pay the curl. Mm-hmm. Sell some pussy, bitch, if you're playing with me. Mm-hmm. They trying to extract the money out their business, and that's where I talk about going into that digital space, so they can really extract more money from the digital space than having to charge for so many add-ons because they're running out of too. ways to add on. Do you get what I'm saying? I do. All right. Mm-hmm. I think personally, why not just make your prices higher? Fuck it. Like you know what I'm saying? Or do that, but see, no, because to make it- I didn't pay two hundred fifty dollars for you for me to come with my hair fucking party. Not even that. I'm saying charge more. But it includes that service, right? Like, so I think I As think the it's, price went up. They yeah, went matter of fact, yeah. I didn't even talk about this. What I found a braider in Atlanta to braid my hair, mm-hmm. and then she was like, "Okay, you got to pay in full because it's less than twenty four hour notice." I'm like, "No, nah, I pay you half now, half later." She was like, "No, you got to pay in full before I can officially put you on my calendar." I paid this little funky ass bitch in full one twenty five. She had your hair boofy. She didn't even show up the next day. Bitch and that's disappeared. Where I was going she Not disappeared. My she she got you disappeared on bitch. me. She disappeared mm-hmm. on me and. And then she gonna say, "Sorry, I'm in traffic and it's raining over here." I said, "How is raining and you live 15 minutes from me? There's no fucking rain over here. Mm. Like it was Did not raining by my house." Back, no, she disappeared. She might as well sell some pussy. And her, thank you. Yeah. And her Instagram is still active. She's still doing hair. But you know Where how my to money? Get it deactivated. I don't know why we playing. <sighs> I so just, I was gonna ask y'all about this, right? Okay. I, um, I had I have a podcast called Gemini Scorpio Podcast. Me and my girl. And um, I wish wow. she was here. Which one is she? She's Scorpio. That's why you got to use that honey with her freaky ass. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Uh, so what I was gonna say is, um, so he they had too freaky if he not getting his ass ate. Wait, what? Hmm? And now we just both not with that shit. That's kind of weird. That's what I, said, not I too think freaky. she with it. You just don't know it. Yeah. How long maybe. y'all been together? Uh, four years. Um, oh. is she from Jamaica? Yeah, she's actually mixed with uh, Trinidad too. Mm. It's crazy. I yeah. heard about those Trinidadian mixed with Jamaican. Yeah. What you hear about them, friend? They eat ass. 
That's what I heard too. Mm. They wine on it. So they was she was talking about how um, I have a we have a podcast called Gemini Scorpio Podcast. Mm -hmm. We also have like separate podcasts where like she do all girls sometimes and I do all guys. Still called Gemini Scorpio Podcast. Mm -hmm. On one of the episodes they were talking about how what you were saying, girls are charging for so many other services, but it's like you can't get it. It's not like I can charge you for an uh, extra fee when you're late. It's like I don't get True. no inconvenience fee no or anything like that. Exactly. So I guess like the girl was saying like you got to come with your hair washed, all this, all that. And she showed up the next day and she was late. She was out like hungover or some shit like that. Mm. And she tried to like, she ain't even answer the phone. Mm -hmm. And I was going to ask y'all like coming from that, that lifestyle, y'all opinions on it, but I know now. Mm -hmm. But like far as not being compensated back, do you feel like it should be something in place for that as well? Yes, mm -hmm. I definitely, because it's like I have to pay a deposit to book. I have to be there on time. 15 minutes later, And then it'd be a deposit. page to fill it. I don't like that. Text me and just tell me you want to set it up. Like, I want to just text you. Y'all be wanting us to go to your Instagram, scroll, click the link in your bio, register online, put my mm -hmm. card in, put my information in, just for y'all to still not show up and then still charge me extra when I get there. Bitch, fuck you. That should be pissing me off because all I had to do was text you and tell you I'm coming because you wasn't gonna do shit anyway. Like, True. why I gotta go all the way on your website just for me to book that you? I want four braids it when you not washing my hair, you me. not parting it, you not combing it. Like, I gotta. It was one hairstylist that told me I don't like no school. direct that feels communication. Like <laughs> oh shit! It feel like school, and I don't mm -hmm. like school. I gotta go through all that, and you not even, and you not even wash my hair. I gotta come here ready, like fresh. No, I'm not doing that. So I will say, like, with barbers, it's kind of similar. Like, True. um, I don't. Y'all gotta pay a deposit. No, nah, we gotta like, <laughs> we gotta uh, we have to pay a deposit, but like. You got to pay more to, um, like, if you I want, like, same-day booking or some shit like and that. They put, it do it charge more for that white chalk line they do? I, I don't I get that I feel like shit. they should be like, and dust that shit off. Quit leaving that. That white chalk line ain't, fellas, listen to me. Please. That white chalk line that y'all get with the sh Tell them it's what? Trash. It's not cute. Okay. Um, y'all be paying extra for that. Nah, I, I don't get that shit, but, like, niggas charge $70 now. One. But but you know what? I understand why, cause y'all hairlines be back here, it's and they gotta fix it. So I totally it it's, makes it's, perfect it, 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 sense. For the seventy dollars, it comes with hairline construction plus chalk. It makes sense. This is I understand. Great. This is a fucking amazing. Did y'all want some drink? Like this is fucking awesome. I understand. Like, no, I get it. Like y'all hairline is receiving. No, my hairline the, is okay. I'm no, saying, like, on the left side. Saying, no, on the left side. Said, Jay, what's this? Your left or right? My right. It's it's receiving. It's receiving. Yes, okay. I think it looks good. I think you I got think, a good grade of hair yeah, too. I I'm think. just playing. With I didn't even get it. You gotta, you gotta play alone, friend. I want it to be nice because we've been tearing this man apart. Wait, he's a man's man. He said he I'm don't want to be a man's okay. man. I don't think that you're scared of me, but if I need you to be scared, I can ruffle you up. For real? Yeah. Oh, whatever. Um, so what I was gonna say is that shit is seventy dollars. One. I don't like how he did that to you. Though, but and it's fine. and then like you gotta have a fucking like. First of all, I don't have a lot of space in my iPhone, so you want me to download this dumbass app? Why you don't have no space in your iPhone? You need me to get you some more storage. How could you do that? I she mean, a, money, she baby. Was a scammer. Oh, money. Allegedly, you said that, and I was just saying like that's what I heard that you. Because we don't run allegedly. out of storage, we got a lot. Talk to me about y'all businesses, man. You do ice cream trucks and shit, and... I you, sell everything but pussy. Yeah. Why not pussy? Fuck no. You she just I, said she don't... She not having sex, so why would she So, since January, you haven't been selling pussy. See, you know what? No, I all. actually haven't had sex in September last year, but... But have you ever sold pussy, friend? You no. sold everything but that, right? Absolutely. I didn't so I didn't drooded. I used to draw for people. You what? Drooded. Okay. I used to draw Come on with the for words, people friend. and sell Come art. Like, words. I used to do so many different things. I used to make lap covers for the little old ladies at church. I used to hem skirts. It's called, I used to do yeah. everything. All right, so let's talk about the real businesses that y'all doing. Ice cream, everything um, but pussy. I did. Airbnb. <laughs> well, I'm thinking everything but pussy. Both. That's like the business name, you know? I mean, cool. I could start sure. a, I could, Yeah, I could do that. So everything but No, but to be honest, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I own a storefront on um, Peachtree in Five Point. What's the name of it? I can't say it on here, but but as soon as we get off, I will tell you. Why not? It's not open yet. Okay. I have the building. I have the contractors and everything, but I really don't want to say what it is it's on fine. camera. No, it's okay. Yeah, I did short-term rentals for about a year, and then I extracted that money, went into the digital space, and extracted more money, and I made $750,000 off of a course. I don't probably made more than that by now. <laughs> I own an agency, and I brand myself, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm a brand. I'm a walking product. I'm a walking product. Talk to me it about. gets time being a product. You get tired of being a product sometimes, friend. Yeah, that's why I, I think I go through a lot of depression with that, though. But and that's why I went to that, get a lady. Like, why? I don't be feeling like you're depressed. Yeah, because a lot of people who are depressed, you can't see that from the outside. People show depression in different ways, you know? It's true. So maybe you need to look right. deeper into me. 
I mean, I do. I could tell when you just don't be want to be bothered at all. She was like today in the car. Because yeah. you was like this in the car. Like her nigga just pissed her off. She just did this. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah, I be knowing to leave you the hell alone. You. I didn't so both, talk to you. you said you That's found. Fine. Why? There's so many things. I didn't want to talk to you because, friend, I'm tired of answering fucking questions. Like, I literally just got my makeup done. I'm in the car. I'm headed to our job, our work. Well, not a job, but our mm-hmm. podcast and you have so many questions and i'm like i because fir- they all come to me i know friend but you gotta hold off on questions sometimes because friend when i'm on nope, the way to i'm about somewhere, to send them all to you no because first of all i have bad anxiety when i'm driving so i'm doing like this i'm and she's like so what time can you do this tomorrow and i'm like i said trisha don't ask me no more questions no you said you told me to get in the chat once i got in the chat i'm like all right well i gotta answer I, ask I you a few answer questions, questions on time. <laughs> child they all come to me so let's talk about it first of all do you do therapy yes i had a lady <laughs> i had a lady why everybody that lady you gonna need to go to that lady mm-hmm. for therapy. what happened um, I stopped talking to my lady because my life ended up like really speeding up. But through that lady, I really learned myself. I learned how to communicate how I was feeling. A lot of grown men and grown women do mm-hmm. not know how to fully express themselves. Like we hold in so much stuff, and we, with me and my problem in my relationship specifically with my boyfriend, my ex boyfriend, it was like I expected him to know what I needed. You get what I'm saying? So it's like when he didn't do what I wanted, I was. Like, upset. really upset. But I never expressed to him how to love me. And then when he was loving me incorrectly, he was loving me in a way he knows how to love me, not the way I taught him to love me. Mm-hmm. So through my lady, I learned how to communicate that more effectively. And then when I did start communicating how I wanted him to love me, he still didn't do that. So that's when I left. Okay, let's talk more business, right? Um, we've been having fun. Mm-hmm. You seem like you're doing a lot of things. You, you as well, right? I'm going to come right back to you. How frustrating is trying to manage so many things? And how hard is it, though? Because clearly she's asking you questions. You're getting frustrated. It's like, like, Can I say this about my friend? Hey, go ahead. Des is not a people manager. Mm-hmm. I, I people. am the people manager. So I get a lot of questions from all of our team, all of this. So it comes to me. Mm-hmm. So by the time I bring it to her, she be like, child, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. But I'm mm-hmm. like, they're all coming to me. Like, mm-hmm. I don't be wanting. Like, I'm, it's, it's more normal for me because I have to manage a whole ice cream shop. And, like, 12 kids there, you know, so it's easier for me. But sometimes I'd be like, I don't want to goddamn answer all these questions. Let me ask this. I don't and she like was like, no, don't ask me. So y'all j- j- y'all have, like, y'all Joint companies. Yeah, together. we own Fire. the agency together. Yeah. Mm. We own Beyond the Chair Podcast So all together. this talking we're doing is just a face yeah. for the grand scheme of things. Fire. Yeah. And you asked me, why do I get, fr- what was the question? No, like, how does it feel? Like, I keep telling her she wants to get used to it because no. when her store open, oh, <laughs> baby. But like, you're running the employees, you said. Girl, between your store and other people's store, listen. What was the question? How do you deal with everything? I go to sleep. Mm-hmm. She literally would go to sleep and then text and be like, I'm going to sleep for the next couple hours. Don't call me. So that's kind of like your... um. Basically. It's my escape, escape. And it's not a healthy escape, to be honest. I don't... It's not a healthy escape, but it's what's easy for me. You know, it's, it's hard doing something else when you just used to escaping even when I was young and I was I got taken away from my mom at seven years old and I moved with my granddad for seven years so I was with him until I was 14 so anytime and he was in the military but he was also on drugs so anytime he would like lash out or like do some weird ass shit rest in peace to him I would go to sleep so sleep has always wow. been my escape because because when I was asleep, I really didn't have to deal with the world. So getting older and being 25, I still use sleep as an escape. Can I tell you why I like to ask questions? Because it helped me escape the law. I didn't been in trouble so many times. Mm-hmm. And every time I got in trouble, I just asked the question with the question. True. Help me get out of so much shit. So sleeps. So when I get frustrated for your question, how do I deal with everything? I don't deal with it. I go to sleep. And that's not good. And when you can't go to sleep, it gets frustrating it gets and overwhelming. It's really frustrating. Like... It gets really bad to the point where I will I, I will lash out on somebody if I can't go to sleep. So let me ask you ladies this. Mm-hmm. Both of you guys are um you from Michigan. Detroit. Detroit mm-hmm. Michigan, right? Mm-hmm. And you're from Nebraska. Mm-hmm. You came to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I feel like so many people came to Atlanta to chase their dreams. Mm-hmm. But you guys came to Atlanta, you got to it, you got so many businesses you're doing. Amazing. Right. I didn't go to Atlanta first though. My journey wasn't Detroit to Atlanta. What was it? Um, I moved from Detroit when I was 18 to Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama. Mm-hmm. I spent five years in Alabama, and I graduated college, and then I moved to Atlanta. Shoshana. 
Hmm. What about you? Was it from Nebraska to Atlanta? Yep. Okay. Was it. was it specifically to chase a dream or to get no, to the bag? I never chase dreams. I just get bored. Mm-hmm. Okay. So both of you guys can answer this. Mm-hmm. What was it about Atlanta that made you move in? in, in nah, not that. Because you get bored and it wasn't. No, I, I can't being, answer this question. Okay. Being in Atlanta, mm-hmm. right? What, like. I only came it, to Atlanta because it was cheaper than LA. Is it, okay. Mm-hmm. Is it what they, what, is it, is it the hype that they talk what about? What I can say is. Tell me about Atlanta, and, basically. Okay. To me, Atlanta is the black money mecca. Like, in Atlanta, you can network so crazy in other places that you can't. Like, where I'm from, Detroit, and where I lived at for five, year, five years, which is Alabama, you can't meet the people that you meet here as fast and network as fast and just get on Jay Hill podcast as fast from a DM. Because imagine if I, I was in Detroit. It would be like, hey, can you guys come on my podcast tomorrow? And it's like, oh, I got to catch a flight. I got to get a room. I got to do this. Like, everybody is in Atlanta. I feel like this is the central money mecca. So when it comes to that part of being in Atlanta, yes, that's cool. That's the money mecca. But as far as genuine friendships and genuine people, I don't feel like the people here are as genuine as at home. Because, sure. and you from Baltimore. Sure. But at mm. home in Detroit. Fuck of people genuine. No, I do. In Detroit, if somebody don't. don't like you, yeah, you they don't fucking yeah, like you. Sure. <laughs> in Atlanta, if they don't like you, you they can hot, still yeah. use them. You it's know like, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's something I can't get with. I don't oh care my god, I said that on Twitter the other day. Oh my god, but yeah. I don't care if people genuine. I don't care about their intentions. So you don't, don't care, care if I'm that. genuine to you? Obviously, because I work with you hand in hand. But if like Jay, I don't give a fuck if he's genuine or not. I I, I kind of would because if he didn't like us for real for real and he talking to other people about us and I wouldn't get on his podcast. I wouldn't care. Do you talk I, about us? Nah, so oh. I don't even know y'all. So uh, what I will say is I understand, but let's tie it in right before my next question. Mm-hmm. I think it's great, but we can use some of it. And what I mean is it doesn't matter if you're genuine, yeah, right? If you if can't you're, be if, used, if, you're useless. Oof, come on. So if we can use each other, and I, I have a shout out to D1, my guy, I appreciate you. So um, he was saying like he's like a, a really popular like, I don't want to say Christian rapper, but he's like, I don't he's know who a, he is. He, right. So he um and he was saying like you know when he, he came, on Instagram. yeah. So he was like he didn't he don't know him having so many followers and being so popular whatever he mm-hmm. don't know who who is real from fake. True. And he was he was a, he was like appreciating me saying like it's dope that I met him and he saw me to be real and I was saying yo imagine if you took that approach with everybody saying just being scared of everybody being fake mm-hmm. because what happens is my initial reaction to y'all I'm reaching out to. Even if you have two followers, mm-hmm. but if your conversation can help me, I'm reaching out to you because you can help me. True. Right. So it all comes from what you can do for me. Mm-hmm. But from then on, if we build something real, then, then that's we can dope. move. Forward. Exactly. So to to her, I, to, to Shoshana, I understand exactly what she's saying because it's like, How yo, are you talking to death tomorrow. What you understand about me? Why don't you just look at me and tell me what you understand? I'm me? looking directly at you. No. You so understand. just like you looking at her to to Shoshana, I'm looking at both of y'all. First of all, so to Shoshana's point, I understand exactly what she's saying. If it's like, I don't give a fuck if he's real or not, mm-hmm. because it's the job that we're getting done. And, now, and you want to know something that I think about all the time when I'm about to go to sleep? Um, <laughs> when I'm about to go to sleep. How can I word this? The happiest people are the blind, like they have a, a shield over their eyes. Like they don't really see with their third eye. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's like a blind person can go around thinking everybody loves them and they so fucking happy. But mm. for me... I'm not a blind person. Like, I really open my third eye when it comes to looking into people. So I think that's where a lot of my social anxiety comes from mm. because I can literally tell when somebody not real and I, I don't want to fuck with them. But if I was a blind person, I would think, oh, everybody in Atlanta is so real. They all want to see me win, you know? So I, I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's that we're blind, right? What it's do you think? that we genuinely don't give a fuck, right? Because No, some people if, are blind. If, no, nah, that's true. But if, 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 like Trishana said, right, if you don't fuck with me, right? If y'all don't fuck with me, I I could care less because we're getting what we need to get from each other, right? Some so like that though. I feel you, but some people are, and I respect it, right? So that's what I'm saying. Like I understand what you're trying to say, but at the same time, I understand what you're saying because mm-hmm. even in Baltimore, Detroit, we couldn't even be in the same room as these people, Mm-mm. right? Mm-hmm. So Trishana, what I want to ask you? Oh, you talking to me now? Oh my god! Don't do this. What's your sign? No, I'm dead ass. What's your sign? I said I was Leo. Leo. You ain't looked at me this whole goddamn episode. I yes, was not in this have. episode. Oh yes, he my. has. You are amazing. You don't <laughs> got to tell me nothing. What's your I question? don't. I don't have to. What's your question? My daughter is a, a Leo. <gasps> How old is your daughter? She's um twelve, about to be thirteen. What? Damn. Yeah. So it's, it's my stepdaughter. How old? 
Okay, okay. Yeah, but it's my daughter, so. That's your daughter? Yeah. Period. <laughs> That's why I said, like, it's, it's dope. That, like, it's, I understand it. I'm not mad at you. Anyway, um, when you say you don't care, being that you don't care, I feel like I can relate. It's not that you're looking for a friendship or you're not looking for a friendship. It's that if it comes, it comes. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm never really looking for a friendship, to be honest. But if it comes, it comes, right? Yeah. Right. So, how has Atlanta treated you? Like, how, 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 what do you think about I think, think about I get Atlanta? overwhelmed in Atlanta. Well, at first, when I first got here, I was overwhelmed because it always be people wanting me to go places. Mm -hmm. And it'd be like, I'm cool with a lot of guys. Like, I literally hang out with men all the time. Mm -hmm. So, I could be in a plane. They'd be like, hey, as soon as you land, come here. As soon as you land, let's go to, let's have a barbecue in my house. As soon as you land, come over for dinner. I don't like going to people's house. Like, it stresses me out. Mm. So, I think I just be overwhelmed. And I don't like people coming to my house either. But what about a business? I feel like, because you, you, you you doing good. You got ice cream fucking shops and shit. You got this podcast now. Tell me, and you're from Nebraska. Like when you tell me Nebraska, I'm sorry, I'm ignorant. I'm, and I feel like I'm. A lot of people are though. I'm about to say I feel like a lot of the world is ignorant too. So we tell the world you're from Nebraska. They're like, okay, what the fuck is in Nebraska? Mm -hmm. But you're here and you're thriving. So it got to be something about Atlanta that's like past all of that other shit. No, literally nothing. So you think you would be doing this in Atlanta, in Nebraska? No. So it's something. it's something. I just get busy here. Like I, I it's create something. my own chaos. I create my own chaos. So here in Atlanta, I, there's more create chaos to create. But I've made more money probably living in Nebraska. For real? Yeah. Cause How? I don't got There's no designer stores there, and mm, I don't gotta. Sense. And the I'm, lifestyle. And there ain't something. shit to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't got nothing to do but sit at home and just work. Mm -hmm. I want to ask y'all this. I feel like I just came to Atlanta six months ago. I just really. Learned about it. Yeah. Good job. Kim. My my one year anniversary is April twenty second. Oh, it's lit. We outside. I'm gonna buy you a couple of drinks. Um You bought us a whole bottle. Facts. Thank you. Let's talk about uh CPNs. Y'all know thing yeah, about CPNs? Uh, uh, um, I think it's mm -hmm. what is it what is it called? It's a um like a concealed personal something number. I know what it is. Though. I don't know what it is. I know what a CPN is, especially in the Airbnb industry. A lot of people don't talk about that. Have y'all used CPNs at all? Nope, because I, I don't know what it is. You have? Mm -hmm. For your businesses? For mm -mm. what? You can't say? I, I feel like I, I feel like that's I'm... legal, though. Like, technically, it's legal. Technically. But people do with it. So we can't talk about it. Okay, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to talking about anything because I'm, I'm just a real-ass person. No, thank you. Um, You pour <sighs> your own poison, boom. Um, now, I'm the only one getting drunk. That's crazy. I ain't gonna pour nothing. No, I'm good. I, I got still got some. I can take a shot with you. You're not gonna take a. Hey, I'm fine. I got some still in my cup. So okay, finish cheers. it. The I'm fuck? Fine. I ain't feeling your energy right now. Yeah. Come on, finish it. Y'all talking I, you to each other, so shit. I'm bored. I'm talking to I'm you as well. You no, y'all talking to each other, so I'm. Oh I'm getting, wow. I'm going to sleep. Shoshana, tell me about Shoshana um. What, you don't. Attention. You don't like. I know. Trust me. I know. No, Des is doing her thing, so I'm letting her have the floor. No, you got it. And you talking to her. You got it, bro. Obviously, you're going to engage with who's speaking. Go ahead. So why aren't you speaking? Because when you look at me, I'm going to talk. Okay. So I asked you about a CPN. You said you haven't used it before. No, I don't know what it is. So I said y'all can have that. I'm fine. I promise you, this is your show. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you so much. I swear to God. When I say this, like, you are so, like, oh, my God. She's not about to piss me off. She's not gonna piss me Why? off because I'm so you're used to this shit. Show. I swear to God. But <sighs> can you finish good. first? I'm sorry. Can yeah. you finish, please? Come on. This is I'm your, fine. This is yours. I'm talking to you and I'm looking at you. I so have, you better not do this. No, finish, please. I'm fine. Whatever. All right. Anyway. Okay. When it comes to a CPN, and this is about to debunk a lot of myths. Uh, when it comes to the Airbnb industry, so I was in the Airbnb industry for a long time, and when I first came into the Airbnb industry, like I said earlier, I was blind to a lot of stuff. So a lot of the Airbnb coaches actually use CPNs, and when they're actually teaching the Airbnb industry through their guides or their courses and stuff. That's the little part that they leave out. You get what I'm saying? So okay. how does this person have 20 units, 100 units, 200 <laughs> units, you know, 50 mm -hmm. units, all of that type of stuff? They're not getting that one under one LLC. They're not. And they're not getting it under their personal Social Security number. They literally use CPNs, but they don't come onto the Internet to say that because they're using it in an illegal way. Okay. So... When white people use CPNs, it's because they, they don't want to be. They don't want to know their real social security number. So when a white person has a, uses a CPN and they're trying to go buy something, they use that concealed personal 
number. I don't know what see. I don't know the the CPM, but I know it's something like that. It's a something like a profile or something to go get that car or to go get that house. But it's just to conceal who they really are. You get what I'm saying? Right. But so people, because famous people use it as well. Yes, people famous want, people yeah. use CPNs because they don't want you using a real social security number. You mm-hmm. get them, but that CPN is still tied to their real name. But in the underground, you can get what's your name? What's your full name? J Hill. What's your full name? J Hill. Okay. So if it was another Jay Hill and he had an 800 credit score, you can get a CPN linked to his credit score. Do you get what I'm saying? No, of so they use common names. So people with common names can go get something that's linked to Jay Hill to another Jay Hill with a high credit score that you can go get whatever. And that worked for you. I haven't you, used a CPN. So you have However, why not? however, I did have somebody who had a CPN with Airbnb and I bought that unit from her. Okay. Yeah. So you did you know about CPNs at all? Only from when I heard them say it. So, when you did your businesses, it was only, it was strictly like through your business account. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How was you able to get, like, how was you able to get the business credit and to get the business name and everything like that Just to get like you? Just by creating a Duns number and then by a what? It, a Duns number. Dun- dun- What's that? Dun- you don't know what a Duns number? Hmm. It's okay, like your teacher. business credit number. Your business social security number. Mm-hmm. So you was able to get that. Mm-hmm. What made you like how? how but I didn't have credit when I got my business funded. I just created a business plan and got my business funded. How did you know to do that? Google. Well, we just wrote a business plan. My partner and I, I bought her out. Period. But we just created a business plan, and then um, I just Google. I have a business plan. Where do I take this? And so, nothing came up, and I kept Googling that for a couple of days, and I seen something about a micro lender and the fine print, and I just started Googling, what is a micro lender? And it said a micro lender funds startup businesses with no money and bad credit. And I just started Googling micro lenders in Nebraska, micro lenders in Omaha, micro lenders for small black businesses. And I just started calling people as an anonymous person. And then I found out the information that you need to apply. And then I called back as myself. So wait, what is a micro lender though? A micro lender is a company that will fund startup and small businesses, especially minority and black owned. And they give you funding. Wait. This is the shit that y'all cheats, I'm assuming. This is the real shit that we actually talk about, yeah. Yeah. The other shit is just because it's fun. Right. And I'm and this is what I'm trying to get to. We do funds and we do funds. Facts. I like that. Me, I cheer to that. <laughs> now she back in the game. She I'm back in the game. Keep yeah, for I'm yeah, can you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you wasn't interested in the... Uh, she, yeah, Trishonda, you got to still be a team It's fine. No, it's fine because I'm good at what I do. Yeah. Don't worry about There's it. There's going to be some podcasts we get on where I'm going to just talk. And, and I'm going to be, gonna be looking like... I, and I'm not going to have attitude. I don't have attitude. But y'all not, because it's right? fine. Because I'm good at what I do. Okay, it's okay. Period, Jay Hill. So, this... Um, uh, I think you can sharpen up. Okay, thank you. I, I know I can. And we can, too. I, I agree. Know, but anyway, um, tell me about this. What is it called again? Micro lenders. Micro lenders. What is that? Or a CDFI. I don't know the full thing, but a CDFI and micro lenders. They're literally small companies that's funded by the SBA. Everybody knows what the SBA is. Um, I just I, learned about that. The really? loan shit. Yeah. yeah I don't literally. recommend going directly to the SBA because SBA is like a godfather. Like, they're like the head bitch in charge. So it's like, why would I reach out to you peasants and give you peasants money? So instead, they take a lot of their money and they disperse it amongst micro lenders and amongst CDFIs. So you can go to a CDFI and they can bend the rules a little bit. So, you know, a C- SBA just gave them. $10 million. So they know how to tweak the rules to make sure that small people get funded. If you go to mm-hmm. SBA, they're like, no, I want your credit to be this. I want this and this and this and this. And get, we'll get back to you in like three months. So micro lenders and CDFIs, they have like the upper hand. True. So you found that and they was able to fund the business that you wanted them to fund. Because yeah, and of, I was yeah. living in my mom's house and my bedroom was smaller than this in my mom's house when I got my business funded to get to blow up. Damn. Mm-hmm. That's fire. That's mm-hmm. crazy. So we made six figures in 60 days at the ice cream shop and it's a seven figure business now. Period. Damn. So y'all don't do CPNs. Would you su- would you I don't do CPNs. suggest it or no? Um, if you're gonna do it the legal way, then yes, I would definitely suggest it. But I don't suggest that you invest into a CPN where you can literally invest into yourself and you can get your own credit score high. You can do because some people take the CPN, they take the easy way out, they go get them a car and then that's it. But they real credit score is still four hundred. Mm. Mm. So invest into your credit score, pay off your shit. That's that's so it's negative. Like putting on your goals cre- on top of bad teeth. Yeah, it's putting goals on top of bad teeth. <laughs> That's what a CPN <laughs> is. Yes. That was fire. That's what a CPN is for the black community. So I wouldn't suggest that. I would just suggest you go get some veneers instead of putting goals on top of bad teeth. So y'all talk. Amen. Y'all do financial literacy. Give me five points. Give me six points. You give me three. You give me three. Financial literacy. If somebody's 
and I don't know, somebody trying to get a business, somebody trying to get their money up, what would they do? Would three say, and three. Okay. I would say work smarter, not harder, and structure your business like a company. Mm-hmm. So the same way your job has a manager, has a lead, has a team, like you want to structure your business from that perspective so that way you're not working at the bottom of the totem pole trying to climb your way up. It's like a crab in a bucket mentality or – and that's what you're doing. Like you're literally pulling yourself down. So I say structure your business and know exactly how you want it to go, how you want it to grow. So that way you can start working smarter, not harder. That's one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, for two, for me, will become a pillar princess. And what I mean by becoming a pillar princess is learn how to make passive income and learn how to make money literally in your sleep when you don't have to. I don't have to be on my phone to make money. How do you do that? marketing is nothing but mastering manipulation to me mm-hmm. like you literally have to master manipulations and manipulate your customers mind to get them to buy into anything that you want to get them to buy into so if i can look at jay and i say hey i know you're struggling with x y and z here are the solutions to x y and z jay gonna buy into that every time and then i use those pain points and those solutions turn that into an ad and then i can make money while i'm being a pillar princess mm-hmm. same instead of doing six we're gonna do four because you're gonna do one more you're gonna do one more okay but um same thing with social media right mm-hmm. I, I was telling people um you know people on the internet are like puppets. i'm so uncomfortable because these pants is up my stuff why don't you just pull them down a little bit well, that I was can. crazy that was wild pild- up my stuff pild- no i was saying like pull them down a little bit like oh. If you unbutton them, that like wasn't nobody wouldn't need, see it. I, it ain't even about that. They just anyway. pull it out. So what I was gonna say is like it's kind of like what we do, right? Podcasts. I feel mm-hmm. like people are like just fucking puppets. Honestly, it's like True. I do like I had like maybe six things go viral, like mm-hmm. literally. And I think um it's because I know how to choose the clips. True. What happens is I know how to choose the clips because I know what people are fucking. They're like <laughs> speaking of choose clips, we got a clip today. They like literally like. <laughs> They're predictable. Yeah. So it's like, if we're talking about something like, oh, this is wild, I'm going to post that nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I but feel like the same it, thing. You want to know who did such a great job at this? Can I can I shout somebody out real yeah, quick? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so my girl, Christiana. So she was just on Finesse's Only Podcast. Mm-hmm. And she, oh, she oh, going to yeah. say some wild ass shit. But one thing about it is, when you click her name and you go to that page, she going to have a funnel and she going to funnel your ass into <laughs> buying Follow something. You, yep. I would say, too, one of my other things is, too, my mom taught me at a very early age because I told you I used to droot it, right? So I would. Droot it means draw. Draw. Yeah. Okay. So I used to have all these paintings and things. I this would is number draw. two? Yeah. All right. And my mom, like, got rid of all my paintings, like, sold it. I went to Scholastic Art Awards. She sold all my paintings. And I came home, and I was so devastation when I seen everything was gone. And my mom was like, you have an emotional attachment to your drawings? And I was like, yeah. She was like, well, I sold them. And I was like, she was like, you don't do anything but just leave in the closet. And she was like, you can either leave with your business mind or leave with your um, creative mind. She was like, but remember, just leading with your creative mind will keep you broke. So I just started learning to not only be creative, but learn how to monetize that shit, like, immediately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was so creative. So when I hear creative, it's like, well, you know, I'm a creative. And I'm, I'm just sensitive like, about my shit. Yeah, I'm a Erica Badu, right? I'm, I'm not, no, nah, I don't want to do, I don't want to do Erica like no, that. No, no, that's what, that's her Yeah, slogan. I know, but I'm just saying. Yeah. When I hear people who just like, oh, they just sit around and smoke all day and talk about art and just get creative. It's like, okay, but how are you going to market that? Mm-hmm. Like, when you drop this shirt line, who are you sending this shit to? Who's going to watch it? Like, that's what I care about. And then to also, a lot of us like to be consumers instead of producers. So it's like, we spend more time just watching shit and just laughing it. And we don't realize we're marketing for so many people for free. True. Like, those are my You know what's things. funny? Hmm. If you put your... <laughs> you're, you're just like those people. Like what? Those, like, Erica Badu's, if we had to say. Because, mm-hmm. like, even with the conversation, like, you got passionate about it, right? Mm-hmm. But it's dope to hear the other side of you. Like, if you put that passion aside, it's so much, so much more on that side. Like, mm-hmm. it's so much more. And it's, 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 it's interesting to see you say that. But, like, to hear you say that, but see the direct opposite in the same setting. Okay, so explain. Elaborate. Like, we were talking, right? I'm talking to both of y'all. Mm-hmm. And she, she, I asked about CPNs to both of y'all. Mm-hmm. You don't know about CPNs. She does. So she's mm-hmm. going to talk about CPNs. I'm talking to her. You're like, you're not talking to me. I'm like, I'm talking to both of y'all. She just know about CPNs. But you're like, no, you've been talking to her, et cetera, et cetera. No, you've been talking to her whole episode. It's fine. We can run all the footage back. It's fine. I'm, okay. I'm okay with that. It's okay. Mm-hmm. I said it to say, in the art, you got passionate about it because you cared. Mm-hmm. Because... Me and her had a whatever, whatever. Whether she was leaning with her business mind. Exactly right. So like, and I think it's do- I think it's dope though. I know I feel like people can 
can learn from this because like I'm still it, lost. It, I have a really, I have a really bad comprehension of it. It's okay. It's fine. I so when I say, so you were passionate about uh-huh. me that talking was leading to her. with a different mind you rather than your business mind. And if it was like saying. a business mind, it would have been a different reaction, but yeah. it's okay because that's what you were passionate about. No, I did about. on purpose. So I hope you take those clips and be like, damn, Trishana was tuning out. But you think that's, that's gonna give us? You I think that's gonna make us go viral? I don't like will. that though. You think so? I'm with yeah. you. If you think that's gonna make us go viral, I'm with you, dog. I think like, a lot I'm, of it will. Friend, I'm because, with you because it literally the whole time you were like, okay, Trisha, I'm gonna get right back to you. Okay, I'm gonna get one more question back to you. Okay, somebody asked you this, I'm gonna get right back to you. And but you friend, literally did that the I whole think time. That you're being so then emotional I said, in this moment, and no. I was gonna wait until we got off of camera to talk about this because that's what we do. We really don't talk about personal stuff on camera, but you can't be a bitch. But you see, I wasn't even done speaking, and you cut me off again. Okay, and talk, and I'm gonna be quiet. Thank you. Whatever. I love it. I love it. Um, whatever. I just think I think people can learn from that. One last question before we leave. <clears throat> Wait, can I say my second? Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. You can. It's okay. Um, so for my second financial literacy tip, I don't mm-hmm. think this is really a financial literacy tip, but I do think it is a tip. And this is what I live by. You can be anybody on social media. Like, you know, like social mm. media is a, a big ass illusion these days. For sure. Don't be broke. Extract as many coins as you can out of social media. Like the funniest people on social media who make all of these memes and go viral, them them be the brokest motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Because they're not extracting that money from their audience. They're extracting comments, likes, and laughs. Mm. But likes does not equal coins. You need that content to convert. So for me, it'll be if you have content, make sure that shit convert. Like, don't be on social media being social. Be on there making dollars, stacking it up. I like that. I appreciate you guys for giving us the advice. I think somebody's going to learn from both of y'all. I want to ask y'all this. Okay. Megan Thee Stallion, right? Mm Mm-hmm. We see what's going on with her in Tory Lane. She just dropped the shit with Gail. Yeah. And first of all, did y'all hear it? Did y'all see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think about the interview? Well, the clips that we seen. Should I I play it? I it was funny. I thought it was funny in the instance that I shouldn't have been laughing, but no tears was coming out. What was funny? That she was what I, was funny, friend? That she was crying but no tears was coming out. However, for me, with the whole Megan and Stallion and Tory Lanez thing, I think that Just the interview. I ain't mean to cut you off, but I'm nah, we ain't doing that. Just the interview. Talk about the interview. Just talk about the interview. Not Megan and Stallion and Tory Lanez. Just the interview. So with the, the Megan, clips. With the Megan the Stallion interview, I do think that as humans and as people, celebrities and as regular people, we should keep a lot of stuff off of the internet. That is my absolute honest opinion on that because just watching this whole thing play out up until the Gail interview, I just feel like stories were changed. I feel like people, you know, as a publicist, and I'm not a publicist, but a publicist could have told her to go on there and be emotional. You get what I'm saying? Because it gave very. Um, Emotional to me, and it, it just, I, I need her to lead with a different mind. What you think, Jashana? I feel like the whole situation is a blur. True. Why? Because it just be just happening, and the story don't happen, and it come back. So basically, you think she's a liar? It, no, no. I didn't say that's that. what Jay Hill said. Do you think she's a liar? <laughs> Do you think Megan The Stallion is a liar? They think they good. They okay. Do you Do think, think Megan The Stallion is a liar? Honestly, if I had to, I don't know. I, like true it's, it's I, a blur i don't care that much because we're watching from a naked eye like we can't see the smoky mirrors instagram is an illusion like i said earlier so it's like did somebody get on there and tell her to say that or is she finally two years later speaking her truth we don't fucking know what do you think about that i think clips? it's great marketing true i think the whole story you know how hard his album was after that goddamn incident to the point where I'm listening. I never listened to goddamn Tory, Tory Lanez. Lanez. But what about her I never interview listened to with until Gail. After that. I just think it's all good marketing. Like so, you think they in cahoots with each other? Everything they is might be. Mar- yeah, M- Megan might be calling Tory like, "Hey, <laughs> I'm about to go on Gail." It is literally Democrats and Republicans because they all work together. True. That's what this situation is. Mm. Okay, um, and they might be fucking still to this day. Mm-hmm. So you think they? She Gail asked her, "Was they having sex?" And, and she, what said, she said, "She said." Mm, well, she no. said, she said, mm. exactly. <laughs> Democrats and Republicans working Put together. Put that pussy on me. Okay, so when can we expect pussy to be sold by you guys? Never. <clears throat> Why would Never. you even say that on this fucking interview? When can we expect you to take another honey tonight? 
Yeah, I probably can't. Um, yeah, because that dick can't get up without it. Wow, that was a good. That was good. That's what I said when you was drop good. your nuts because you don't even want to be a man's man. First of all, you I'm a grown said ass man. I am. <clears throat> you don't gotta try to make I me don't. believe it. But you, you like niggas that like you like licking niggas' asses, and like the gooch part. Mm-hmm. That's what you. That's your. That's mm-hmm. You like you like you do that for real. Yeah, finger and all. Yeah, trolling. No, clearly. I'm not trolling. It's clearly you. No, she I'm really eat that ass. Like y'all been dead ass. Yeah. yeah. To each his own. Well. Hey, Shoshana, Des, Des. Thank you for having. Thank us you so much for having us. Yo, I appreciate you guys. Thank it you was for amazing. being such a good sport. Um, you guys were amazing. Uh, what I will say is for you to be so young and doing what you guys doing, like, I, I, but aside of the like jokes and shit like that, it was yeah. fun. No, and for you y'all doing to be fucking thing. standing your ground and actually funding your passion, like that's amazing. I really hope this take off for you. Yeah. Oh. It, it's already taking off, but Facts. I'm talking about like Jay Hill late night show. Nah, it's 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 it's, 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 it's a working. It's progress. dope that you guys um we, that you say that because like um people look at me and y'all gonna see, and I'm pretty sure y'all in y'all business I'm pretty sure y'all see this already. Mm-hmm. People look at me as like Jay Hill, like from but back home. But you still walking up the stairs, <laughs> like yeah. literally, like people back home, like yo Jay Hill was like, and I'm like. You walking up the stairs. The fuck? I respect any man that lets me test their nuts and their cajol their ground. Yeah. Cause oh, that's I, what she was doing? I test so many men all the time. And Niggas they be upset. Yeah. They Damn. fold. You didn't fold. So yes. I'll cheers to that. I'll finally give you a cheers. Oh. I'll fuck with you now. I don't know. I ain't know if I did or not, so I didn't, you know. But you, you held it's your ground. Fine. It's okay. Trishana, Des. Thank Beyond you so the much. Chair. Yo, um, how can people uh fuck with your podcast? How can they follow you guys personally? How can they support whatever you got going on? That's at Sidity Days on Instagram. Say that again, cause that's what? at Sidity Days. S I D I T Y D E S. Big City Days. I'm Trishana. T R I S H O. And together you can follow N-N-N. us on Beyond the Chair, which is Beyond. Y'all know how to spell that. The Chair underscore. And if you want to text us. If you would like to text me and Trishana personally, you can text us at 404-383-5199. Remembered. I fuck with y'all. It's a wrap. Mr. Thank J. You. Hill. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 